Now turning to Asia, emergency teams in the Philippines are still trying to reach people swept away in a tropical storm that has already killed at least 80 people. Storm Trami made landfall on Thursday, bringing high winds and floods to a large area south of the capital, Manila. Some regions saw more than two months' worth of rain in just 24 hours. And for more on the situation in the Philippines, I'm joined by Jen Mendoza, who's the Humanitarian Partnerships Manager at Care Philippines. Hello there, Jen. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, how are the recovery... Well, sorry. <laughs> how are the recovery efforts going? Thank you, David, for giving us this opportunity to share our situation here in the Philippines. Um, the recovery of efforts are ongoing in the Philippines. CARE and our partner organizations in the Humanitarian Partnership Platform are conducting damage needs assessments, especially those in most affected regions. We are also mobilizing resources to assist the most affected and most vulnerable populations, especially women, girls, the elderly, and people with disabilities. At present, we have been on the ground since day one and provided hot meals to those who are in evacuation centers or are still in flooded communities. Um, the government has also mobilized resources and have been providing immediate assistance, but the need really is very great because of the huge number of affected populations. So are you getting enough support from the government uh, while you're trying to help communities uh, get back on their feet or does a lot more need to be done? Um, the, the Department of Social Welfare and Development has coordinated the distribution of relief packs, including food, water, hygiene kits to displaced families, and have also established evacuation centers for those who are still uh, displaced. But at present, the need is just too great for us. We need the collaboration of the government, humanitarian organizations, civil society, the private sector, and the international community to ensure the fast and timely delivery of life-saving aid reaches those who are in need of it the most. And Jen, uh, the devastation from this tropical storm has been quite enormous, uh, with estimates that 300,000 people have been displaced. How long do you think it will take to recover from this? Um, for us, David, it's really important to note that this tropical storm is just one among the series of climate-related events that the most affected populations have experienced. Uh, they're still coming from a long drought or El Nino since late 2023, continued until July this year. And starting September, two typhoons, Gami and Yagi, have devastated the same communities that were recovering from El Nino. And farming and fishing families who are still trying to recover are now hit by the series of typhoons and storms damaging their sources of livelihood and can take months for them to bounce back from the devastation because this storm magnified even more the challenges that these communities remain. Well, Jane Mendoza from Care Philippines, thank you very much for speaking to us and I wish you all the best with the recovery efforts. Thank you.